It's a beautiful day outside. And we're back today for another episode of... Hey mom, look, the boys are back in town. Hey guys, what's going on? So, today I've been working on the first gen. Actually, for the past week or two, I've been working on it. small little things, which we're about to go over. New starter, new a bunch of new power steering parts, which were super difficult to find for some reason. I couldn't find them at a pickup part. I couldn't find them at an LKQ. I couldn't find them at a lot of places, but it's all right. eBay, thanks, sweet, got it, boom, bow. That's a so if you look back down under here, Got a brand new pulley from Yoder Masters. Thank you all for that. And then also got a uh, the bracket that the tensioner goes on from eBay because I could not find it anywhere else. And if we go down under the truck, we got a brand new starter. And yeah, the battery's dead because we left the key on uh, sometime that it would charge it to start. Oh, also I took the door off. <laughs> It looks like a Jeep. I'm just kidding. It looks better than a Jeep. No offense, Robert. Still love you. But also got the fender taken off on this side because we got had rust crawling and corroding through. Kind of like this side. Except it was a little worse. So there's a bunch of little stuff. But let's get this thing started. I'm going to try to start it without, without starting the third gen. Nope. Ain't going to start. All right, let's try for a numero uh, trace. Maybe today is our lucky day. Come on, come on, come on. I don't need a little low. Power steering pump going. Shoot. <laughs> Go! A little smoky around the exhaust board. I think I need to put a, uh, another uh, gasket right down there. Let it get warmed up. Maybe take it for a ride. So we got it running, obviously. I need to jack it up and go back and forth with the tires. So that way I can... <laughs> that way I can uh, get all the hydraulic or the power steering fluid flush through the lines and to do that i went and spent some money on a new lit jack because tanner took his back and on an engine stand for the 2 uz why i just don't what are you doing <laughs> So you give a little, little wiggle to the left, a little wiggle to the right, as it's all jacked up. It is simple as that to get the power steering going. It's better than nothing. Once you get rolling, you can definitely tell a big difference. I bet you that power steering pump shot too. Probably. Man's over here hooking up his music. Oh, don't hit my truck, please. I can actually steer it now. Let's tailgate down.
Ah, Jesus. Alrighty, so after that fun drive y'all just saw we took, not just a little bit of an issue. And as you can see, we have nothing in there. Well, now all you can see is my arm. But you have nothing down there in between the transmission shifter and four-wheel drive. And when, hold on, and we get around to the other side. And when you're driving down the road, it makes it a little awkward because of that. And that. The both of them. Pushing up exhaust straight into the cab. So I cut out one little piece for down there. And then I got to cut out another piece for there. We're just going to cap it off, do some exhaust sealer, and then bolt it down. And then... Also got to get a boot. I'm going to get a little piece of flat metal and then secure it down. So let's get on. Alrighty, so I got that piece already cut out. I got to go run to Home Depot, grab some bolts for it. But I also pulled this out of Tanner's truck. Thanks, bud. And I'm going to actually make the make a flange that when I get a boot, the boot will go on and then the metal flange will go around it and then get screwed in through there. So, I'm going to probably undo the shifter linkage, which that one needs to get replaced. I just haven't. And uh, probably just trace it onto here and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's get to it. And as you can see, I got that little one marked out. I'm going to drill the holes on that. But as for this big piece, I just used 10 snips, snipped it out, popped it up over all of the... Uh, screw holes and then drew a little line on it so now I'm just gonna cut it out with 10 snips with this one cut out I actually have to use nuts and bolts for one side make it a little dark but hopefully I can show y'all and I also got oh my gosh that quality went just terrible hold on there we are we got nuts here this piece here so as you can see one of them has actual bolts coming out of it and the next one doesn't so obviously the one with the nuts and bolts is going to go right on i'm actually going to put a layer of jb weld onto these the exhaust style i got it sitting over on the shelf over there that way it seals it and that way i don't have any leaks so i'm gonna go ahead and get this pressed in and show you all the top view and with that all sealed and that all sealed it actually all comes out here so it's running pretty rich, I believe. I believe it's really rich. Well, show Morty. I believe it's running a little, little rich, but you know, can't change that. Got this piece in. I just got to get an actual like centerpiece for that. But you know what? That's going to be next video. So thank you for watching Shag Shop, and we will catch you next week.